I'd like you to say something about what I'm about to say. Correct it. Let us sit and reason together. Say something about that. What's well, that? what do you mean by reason? Think logically. I'm not normal. What is that? What is logic? Use your head. Use your natural inclinations. It's saying, look at it my way. Yes, only, that's what he's saying. Let us sit and reason together mean, see if you can see things my way. That's impossible conversation. Or you shouldn't have done that. If a person honestly doesn't know what to do about something, and you say you shouldn't have done that, it's better to say what you can do to make it work, me, rather sir. than you shouldn't have done that. Give them something to do that'll make it work. If your cat rubs its body against you and you kick the cat, that doesn't change the pattern. He may move away then. But what you're really interested in is, I'm getting right to the point now, is manipulating the environment. That's what you really want. The purpose of language is not to communicate. It's to control the behavior of other people. When you tell another person, mow the lawn, I'll give you five bucks. You know, ten bucks, yes, I'll mow the lawn. Oh, money is a control device to a limited extent. If you offer a girl five dollars to have sex with her, she would feel terribly insulted. But if you give her one million dollars, she might have to think about it, even though she's a moralist. She might have to set a moral society for that deal. Otherwise, I have to work for 40 years and never get that opportunity. Is it an opportunity? It could be an insult to some people. So, use your head as no language at all. Uh, or you're dumb, you're dumb, there's no language, no communication. Or you shouldn't have done that, there's no communication. Or I hate you, there's no communication. Unless you say, you're at the, the sink run and it overflowed everything and I had to work four hours cleaning it up, try not to do that again, otherwise I won't let you near the sink. Okay? Whatever it is that you have to do. So you've got a long way to go. Most language is noise. When people sit and talk to each other, if you check with them three days later, what did you talk about, they usually don't know, because it was not significant. When normal people get together and talk, they usually say nothing. They can't say anything. So when you have zeitgeist meeting, they can only talk within the realm of what they think that means. Are you with me? Do you understand that if the brain is perfectly organized, all the tissue is good quality, it has no mechanism for knowing how to react on the varying conditions? That's learned. They say, uh, you can't pass on what you learn. It seems to me, uh, that's a semantic term, it seems to me, it's always good to use, it seems to me that this is so, meaning that's so. It seems to me. Now if I look at a person that's trisexual, tries anything, I would say that they've been off in some odd direction. But I don't look down at them. I know that I could have been brought up that way. I could have been brought up by the headhunters. If you take a baby from a civilized world, two years old, bring him up with a headhunter, he'd be a headhunter. And if you say, that's a terrible thing, I don't know that it's much more terrible than the world you live in. When a guy is a plumber, another guy is an electrician, I think that's unfair use of the brain to make a person an electrician or a plumber generalist. 
you're giving them more tools, not all the tools, but more tools. That's what a person craves at a meeting. They don't know why they go there. They say, I go there because I like the Zeitgeist movement, or I like the Venus Project. And you pin them down, what do you think the Venus Project is? And it's a, a different interpretation of a way of lifestyle. How different? Pin them down, see if you can get the information. They usually don't provide the information, because they don't know that much about it. I'll open this up to questions, if you have any. Um, I had some requests from people if you'd talk more a little bit about uh, anthropology, anthropology, as a scientific discipline. In anthropology, they're okay. When they step out of the field, they usually conform. Or they can get a job as the teacher of anthropology. But the anthropologist studies different cultures, mainly primitive. But he doesn't think his own culture is primitive. See, unfortunately, there's no field you can study today that isn't entrapped in the culture somewhere. Do you know what that means? It's hard to escape. And if you really succeeded in escaping from your culture, you'd have difficulty talking to people. All you'd be doing is informing them. And they say, what are your qualifications for informing me? Say, what do you get out of it? That's the qualifications. If you get nothing out of it, there's no qualifications. Qualification is how well does the system work? If you don't water your plants, they don't grow, so you water them. If the water is contaminated with chemicals and poisons, the plants die. The only way to know that is to do the what they call the wrong thing. It's never the wrong thing. In science, like on, um, on the Larry King show last, when they were talking about brain and mind and trying to distinguish one from another. Yes, what's the difference? Yeah, I don't see any. The brain is, a, is like a battery. The charge is the mind. You know what that means? A battery, if I put up a sign, battery free of charge, that would mean no electrical charge in them. It doesn't mean you can take it home for nothing. If I give you a battery free of charge, a mind free of charge, sometimes it's a brain hit by lightning. It so saturates everything that the guy has, doesn't know he's even there. The brain has been shocked into non-associative systems. That can happen. Or the brain can be partially shocked into no association system. Then there's such a thing as neurotoxins, poisons in the brain that make it unable to operate. And then there's conditioning that makes the brain unable to operate. It's hard to tell the difference because neurotoxins can stop the brain from operating and a guy brought up in a thalamic country. You know what that means? Emotional only. And he only gets angry when people don't do what he asks them to do. I told you to cook the chicken, you know, they get angry. That means you didn't affect their behavior the way you wanted to. You know, you can't say to kids, I want you to listen to every word I say. He can't even hear the words you say, unless you tell him what the words mean. So you've got a much bigger job than you think. It isn't just saying, now you listen to me, I'll tell you the truth. You can't, you can't walk over to a judge and say, everything you do is based on ignorance. He says, how do you see that? How do you mean that? I say, if you ever run into a judge that talks that way, you're, you're halfway there. I've never met a person that says, how do you mean that? Yeah. So if you say to a judge, 
everything you do is erroneous, unreal. You might as well be a headhunter. You're putting people in jail, you're judging people, you know nothing about their background. Yes, I know plenty about it. He's a criminal. He's been in jail before. That's his yardstick, associative memory. So all our actions are based on associative memory. Do you understand what that means? Your experience, not the truth. When a person says, I'd like to know the truth about something, does the universe change? And uh, another person might say, at what rate does it change? You know, you can take a camera and a telescope and photograph the universe every two hours and the stars will move to different positions. But normally looking at it, all the stars appear to be fixed. So even that time frame camera, if set to photograph every month, the planets will move a great deal. So uh, I, you can record and say, when you're scientific, you can say, within 12 minutes, this is what we get. Within 40 minutes, this is what we get. You say, well, which is the right one? That doesn't make sense. If you photograph an automobile with an ordinary camera, the wheels appear to be turning backwards. Have you ever noticed that on cars, on a motion picture? Well, if you can sync your camera with real events in real time, you can get the wheels to appear to turn in the right direction. So, all, all knowledge is based upon time. When a chemist looks at something, he looks at it as a chemist. When a writer listens to a person, he listens for story, what he feels will be commercially saleable. When a salesman looks at a person, he's looking at something entirely different. Can I sell you a lawnmower? Now, um, it seems to me that if you were to tell the average person, if you had a city of 10,000 people and they all chipped in 10 bucks apiece and built a community bank and all the profit went to that city, he should lap onto that because that makes sense. You know what I mean? If, if it was a community-owned bank and all the profit went to everybody, if the community of 10,000 people chipped in 10 bucks apiece and bought a farm, food would be much less for everybody. So when they say, well, uh, that sounds like communism, that doesn't deal with anything. The person's not addressing the subject. What's wrong with the community bank? He says it'll kill incentive. Have you ever tried it? No. How do you know it'll kill incentive? You know, oh, you got, you got, you're always wrestling with people. So, if you've got 4,000 houses, or say 300 houses, and each one buys a lawnmower, if you bought six gigantic lawnmowers and mowed the whole area, it'd be better than selling a lawnmower to every house, but it's better for business. But collectivism is obviously better than any other system. So people say to me, uh, or I've been reading anti-utopian books, it says, man doesn't stay fixed, he's changing. Well, it depends on the rate of change. Man, they say, can't be controlled because uh, he's not a fixed entity. When you see all these Chinese marching together in North Korea, they march like one unit. And we did uh, 2,000 plane raids over Germany. How do you get 2,000 planes off the ground without making them very uniform? You know what I mean? Now, what degree of uniformity can you attain with people? It depends on how sophisticated the equipment is. Now, when they say, is there a place for individuality? When you say, you mean if a guy likes to fuck frogs, would there be a place for him? What do you mean by individuality? I don't know what they're talking about. I know what they think they're talking about. Will they be free? They're never free. You can't be free of your background. 
is speaking some language, always, Japanese, Chinese, but you can't be free. If a guy come up and he say, I'm an individual. <laughs> That's what that means. It means he doesn't respond as you do. Well, you can't deal with him if he doesn't. He can't make any deals. He can't get any behavioral cooperation. So, the Zeitgeist Movement should be a system that indoctrinates people to a working system that's beneficial to most people.